Dublin. Matt Thomas of Parmalee, thanks for taking time for Canadian Radio. We appreciate that. Glad to be here. So glad to be here. Parmalee starting to pile up number one hits. How about that? Keep them coming. We love it. <laughs> Thank y'all for helping us get those number one hits, man. Getting well, around. I will tell anyone who will listen, I think at radio, our job's kind of tough. But on the other hand, I think we get the easy part because our part of the job is to play hits. The tough part of the job is to make hits, and that falls on your lap. It is tough. It's hard, man. Um, we talk about that in the songwriting room a lot. Um, a great conversation with uh, one of my buddies that writes songs that's actually had – sorry, the train is blasting over here. Uh, he's had 67 now number ones in, in county. Uh, Ashley Gorley, he's, uh, he, he, he quoted the other day. He's like, yeah, he's like, we're trying to make Chick-fil-A. Everybody likes it, but it's hard, it's hard to do. <laughs> that's what you ultimately try to make. I said, that's a great quote, man. I'm, I'm going to use that one. But uh, yeah, man, it just, but, it, it, but it's because it's you write so many songs, man, so many songs. It's awesome when you, um, when you come up with one and it just, it, it's got something and you, and you go listen to it a couple times and it could be the one, it could be the one that changes your lives, that connects with everybody, that just, just it brightens somebody's day, if you want to say that, or hits the perfect mood. I mean, but nothing better than just coming up with something out of thin air and you come home that night, you got a little recording of it and you, and you listen to it and, it and it hits you, you know? So always, you know, that's, we're mining for gold out here. It's just like gold mining. You might dig your whole life and not find a nugget. And then one day you find the biggest nugget you'd ever, ever had, the whole batch of it, you know, or you might strike gold right out of the gate. Uh, you might just get a little bit all along. You might never find anything. You know, it's, it's a crazy job. <laughs> well, you're you're finding it because you guys <laughs> still roll. You know, we were talking before we started recording about the last, you know, few years for Parmalee. And again, it's just you keep setting the bar higher and higher and higher. And I think you've done it again with the new single, Girl in Mind. Congrats on its release. Thank you, man. You know, we wanted to keep that going because, you know, it's almost like a trilogy. Um, would you start with just the way telling the girl you love her just the way got made you, then you're going in to take my name, you're getting married and all that. And now she, she's the only girl in yours, you know, and, and, you know, with the, the positivity, the energy, the vibe, all that stuff, it just felt like it was the right song at the right time. And now, um, you know, take my name was, is still massive for us, obviously. So it really has been doing its own thing but having girl in mind actually now i feel like the timing is, is perfect for just gonna, it's gonna be top down weather soon so i feel like hopefully we'll have the, the the soundtrack to to some to some good weather good stuff i hope it brings along the good weather and a number one hit for you guys again uh you know it's interesting that you and i would have never thought of that until you mentioned those songs being somewhat of a trilogy was that the whole idea or did it just kind of shake out that way i think it kind of sh- it, it just just happened in, in a lot of ways, but you, it started with just the way being, you know, uh, that song coming out of just, just really just being a, a godsend for us. That song just came and, and, and changed the game, changed our lives. And it gave us more than anything. It gave us a direction. It was us. It was, you know, hundred percent Parmalee, but it was like, okay, this is what, this is what's connecting. This is what our fans have been waiting on from us. And so that helped us write Take My Name because it was like, all right, what's going to be the song that people want to hear after Just The Way? And it's Take My Name. And so and so that conversation goes, okay, you got Just The Way, Take My Name. Now, what's the song everybody's going to expect to hear after Take My Name? It should, you know, hopefully be in this kind of thing. So I think they all kind of played in. But it's, um, and I, I'll say this a million times, if, if you go into a writer's, room or you have an idea and you have direction on what you're going for and you know your audience and that makes the job a lot a lot easier you kind of cut through all the fat and just say here's what we're looking for here's what we need here's what we feel like our fans have been wanting to hear from us and this is what they connected with so let's um you know turn it a little bit but let's let's keep it going you know it's funny you know when you Describe walking into a room. It almost sounds like an analytical approach to songwriting, right? When you're talking about, okay, here's where we've come from and here's what we think, you know, 
So you can take analytical thinking and then apply it to songwriting, but at some point the creative switch then has to take over, right? Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of what they call math that works that could, because people written hit songs and, and you can you can you can you know use that and, and it always helps melody structure obviously to length of song and there's all that stuff but who cares unless you got a great idea you got a great melody and you can you can lay it out you know and you got some good music behind it you know that'll always be the fact you know and and, and it's not easy but when it all comes together it's it's a it, when it all comes together it's easy you know you know when, when you can when you can finish that song and play it on an acoustic guitar and it holds up just as good as any bombastic track or any loud instruments or whatever that's what it's all about and being able to play three or four chords and get it done and, and uh, sing a melody that everybody remembers and loves. Um, that's what you're always after really. Yeah, for sure. You know, there's a great line, a lot of great lines in the new single girl in mind from Parmalee and Matt Thomas is here, couple of billion in the world, you know, and I heard that line in the song and I thought, yeah, you know, it's amazing to think there's a couple of billion uh, girls in the world, probably more. Yeah. And, we're all in pursuit of the right one. And the fact that I'd like to think most of us pull it off, it seems like we're yeah. really bu we're really bucking what math would tell us makes sense. Right. I, didn't, I never thought about it that way. You're you're right. Yeah. Wow. And and we're in a society now where you can, you know, what if you what if you were in the old days where you didn't have any communication with anybody? She'd have to be somewhere, somewhere local. She'd have to be the one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the nearest mile to me <laughs> you don't get any reach any other ones that's it <laughs> so when it comes to harmony and the success so far that we've talked about i could sit here and i could rattle off all sorts of big numbers when it comes to streaming and sales and everything else but i always love to crawl inside of the head of an artist and find out how do you define success well first and foremost is being able to play music for a living, whatever salary that is, however, just being able to wake up and concentrate on music, that's success. Always will be, you know, hands down. Um, but I can't, I still don't think, um, every, I still get paranoid about having to go back to the logging woods and cut trees and, and do you know, manual labor like we did for so many years to kind of get here. I still can't get that out of my mind. It's always there that, you know, what we call scuffling. We work for ten dollars an hour for all our friends. We did for framing and construction, you know, worked in lumberjacks and, and did all kinds of whatever job we could do, hustling to, to make that little bit to play on the weekend. So I don't know. I just think being able to 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 focus on just music is, is the success right there and all the stuff that comes along with it is is you know is gravy on the taters as you would say but um I don't know man it's everybody's success is is you know you gauge it differently but I mean mostly mostly you want to be happy in doing what you do and being able to do what you love for a living is is uh it's stressful you know because you're 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 banking on your creativity so you gotta come up with some new idea every day that's gonna keep things going and that that can wear on you at times but you know the alternative i've already done that and, and this is way better <laughs> you know and, and it's um i believe any kid growing up should spend a summer or two working on a farm you know i did it sounds like you did a lot of manual oh, labor it. and i'll tell you i I sit in this radio studio every day and I'm happy to be here, I'll, you know, but I know what it's like to know you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going out rock picking in the field or you're slinging hay bales. And yeah. I, I think it, yes. everyone should. And, and, yeah, I do too. And I think no matter, and, and that's just something that I learned at early age. That you want something, you go to work, you, you get up early, you go hash it out and you can always move on to something better. But that, that just, that is never left. Yeah, to this day, if I'm if I'm doing anything in the yard, I'm gonna do the hardest part first. I'm gonna knock it out so that I can go what we call short rows. That was uh, when you're getting into the short rows. And back in the day, we worked in tobacco fields. That meant you were getting you were getting to the end of the field. It's getting to the easy part, the short rows. You know, about to finish up. So we still use that. But uh, yeah, that mentality of like go for it, knock it out, get it done, and and you just gotta you gotta do it if you wanna enjoy 
some success later, just learn that hard work ethic, man. I think we all kind of came from that, uh, that upbringing, which I'm very thankful. I hated it when I was a kid. Trust me. I hated getting up at six and going to the tobacco field and getting wet. And I mean, you know, just, it was just terrible. But now I, I look at the lessons, uh, and, and they, they still affect me and, and us to this day. Yeah. You and me both. And I love ultimately that your answer to the question of how do you define success comes back to the creativity and the making of the art and doing it for the fans. I think you're spot on. Um, congrats on everything so far. Thank you. Uh, if you and I were to uh, get together on Zoom on the 6th of March, 2024, and revisit the last year, what would you like to be able to tell me that Parmalee's pulled off? Um, honestly, I, I really, really hope that... Um, we're working on new songs right now. So I really hope that, that the songs we're working on are what people want to hear from us that, uh, that we are, you know, just keeping the take my name tour going as, as we are now. And, and just, I mean, like I said, it all comes down to continuing to, to be happy playing music for a living. And that's, that's the ultimate goal, no matter what level that's at, that's where I, you know, hopefully we can, we can say that in a year. Good stuff. Well, part of the next year for you's got a uh, show in Niagara Falls, Falls View Casino. That's coming up August 22nd. Yeah. And that's just a nice drive from here. So we'd love to have a lot of our listeners jump down there and see that show. So safe travels to you. Yeah. And I think when I see you in about eight days down in Nashville, I think I've run out of questions. So <laughs> we'll just have a cocktail. How about that? Just <laughs> now a standing appointment. How about All that? Right. All right. Sounds good, man. Where do people find you guys on socials? At Parmalee Music. That's uh, everywhere. Uh, you know, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, all the above. You can just search search us and you'll find us. Good stuff. The new song is called Girl in Mine. And again, it's just the next chapter of a terrific story being told by Parmalee. Matt Thomas, thanks for your time. I'll see you, you in a Let's go. See you, man. Right on. Thanks for this. And, uh, and I'll, I'll hunt you down, Doug. All right. We'll be there. <laughs> all right. Later.